Hi, I'm Rory from East Bears, and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the thermostat in this electric cooker. Now I'm using a Zanussi built-in electric cooker in this video, but the process for replacing the thermostat will be really similar for almost all domestic electric ovens. Now this is your thermostat. The thermostat control sits behind the temperature knob. This wire then runs round the back of the oven, and this capillary tube is then seated at the top of the oven cavity. Now how will you know if you've got a damaged thermostat? Well, uh, there's three main signs. The first is that the temperature inside the oven is not reaching what you've set it to on the temperature knob. Or the second sign is if the temperature inside the oven is always at maximum no matter what you've got it set to. Uh, the, the last sign is if you're not hearing the telltale click when you turn the control knob, uh, then yeah, it's, it's a sign that you'll need to replace the thermostat. Now safety first, do make sure that your oven is switched off at the wall before you get to work. There should be a switch in the general vicinity or if you can't see it, it might be in one of the units above, below or to the side of the cooker, but do make sure it's switched off. Um, the thermostat is situated at the back of the cooker, so if you've got a built-in one like this one, then you'll need to remove it from its cavity. You can do this by removing these fitting screws here and then lifting the oven out of its cavity and unplugging the cables. Once you've got the oven into an open space with enough space to work on it, you can get started. And the first thing you'll need to do is just remove the door. Now on most oven doors, there'll be a latch on either hinge, which when moved into the open position, will allow you to close the door up and lift it out. So here we can see the thermostat's capillary tube, which is situated at the top and back of the oven cavity. We just need to unclip it like that. We can then move it around and just leave it hanging like that. And we'll get back to it in a sec. I now need to remove the back panel from the cooker. It's held in place by Torx head screws. You can get a Torx set at these bears website. I'm just gonna use a Torx bit on the end of a screwdriver. Just need to remove these two top panels as well. So now I've spun the cooker round and we can see the wire feeding from the top of the cooker round and into the oven cavity. So I can now just pull the capillary tube out of the cavity. I now need to just remove this fixing bracket here. Again, Torx head screws keeping it in place. So here we are at the thermostat control. Now before I move these wires, there's two things I need to do. The first is just mark one of these white wires with a pen. And the second is just take a photo. This way I know when I come to put my new thermostat control in, I can wire it in exactly the same way as this one was wired. Now I've done that, I can just remove the clips. And I can then just remove the control knob from the front. And now I can take these two screws out and remove the old thermostat control. I can now get rid of the old thermostat and put that to one side and get my new one. And I'm just gonna now do the exact opposite of what I've just done. Firstly, I'm gonna fix it to the front control panel, rewire it, feed the wire through, put the capillary tube back into the oven cavity and fix it all back together. Now all I need to do is just put the panels and the door back onto the oven. Don't forget to put the latches down on the door when you're refitting it. And that's how easy it is to fit a thermostat on an electric cooker. Before you get cooking again, it's best to give it a bit of a clean inside the oven cavity as there'll probably be a bit of debris from the work you've just done. Thermostats for all make and model of cooker are available on the East Bears website. Thanks for watching.